Maie, te tupua, maie, te tafito, maie, te kahuyo ngariki, maie, tawivi kia tū mataua Each year, a new intake of army recruits arrive to complete their basic training. They have just 16 weeks to prove they have what it takes. They'll be pushed to the limit as they transition from civilian to soldier. Kill the enemy! And not everyone will make it. There's just three weeks left for the recruits on basic training. To test if they'll make the grade, they have their toughest challenge yet, with the open country battle exercise. We we'll push through as a baseline, happy, clearing it, checking by IEDs, etc. Enemy, we're going to go in exactly eight minutes, happy. Eight minutes. <laughs> you want to delay it, please? Uh, we are about to do a 5k march uphill to our RV point, so that's like just to make sure there's no enemy up there. So a 10k march all up today. We've given them the tools that they need to be able to survive out here. It comes down to the cold and the wet, which gets to everyone, it soaks into the bones, and that's when that comradeship really needs to ramp up and the commitment to what you're actually here for. With no let up in the pace, each recruit works out a strategy to get through the pain of the march. Just remember your why. So like why you want to march out, I guess. Probably to make my mum proud, to be honest. Probably the main one. Like, it sucks, but once you're finished, it's over. Well, surely everyone wants to stop, but just one foot in front of the other. Head up, ruffles up, come on, team. Holy shit, it's been like 20 minutes. Let's go. It's just past that point now. I just don't care. And what would my mum say if I gave up? Oh, God. While pack marches are particularly hard, women recruits are at a further disadvantage as most are carrying heavier body to weight ratios than the men. They're carrying around the same weight as everyone else, but just physically speaking, um, their frame and that's not as big as the, the bigger legs. So you see them struggling, so we keep an eye on them. Let's go. Let's go. Keep going, Sink. Once you get over there, you can take your pack off. I swear to God, it weighs more than me. I think I'm the lightest out of the whole company. You are. And yeah, I do definitely feel it. I just didn't expect, like, the mental challenges, I guess. Like, I've pushed myself so much on this. I didn't even know I could reach the limits I've reached. With few stops on the march, all the recruits have to keep up. Each section also has a machine gun weighing 12 kilos. Today, recruit Hay has the burden of carrying it. Still plenty to go yet, let's go. But she's got a lot more weight than the rest, she's going all right. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Size, gender, everyone's got to be able to carry the gun, section weapon, that's how it's got to be. But as the recruits clock up the miles, the extra weight of the machine gun is taking its toll on Hay. Our team is moving out. Where you go? Hey, get off your face. Have some pride. Your main firepower. Don't fall behind. Gun. Tired as fuck and sore. Useless. Because I shouldn't be at the back. While recruit Hayes struggles at the back, their group is suddenly spotted by the enemy. Her machine gun is vital for her section survival, and Hay is now under pressure to respond to the attack. Reference track! To your right! To give her troops cover, Hay moves to a better vantage point. Push up there! Stop Let's it! go, sick guys! Stop it! Yeah, yeah, I've got you, I've got you! Oh. Get the fucking gun going! Oh, I've got to stop it if you didn't hit me! Fire! 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 Fire!
Five o'clock! Five o'clock! Get ready! Using their training and keeping cool under pressure, the recruits have managed to hold off the enemy. It's ambushes like this that will give the recruits the experience to work as a team and deal with real-life battles when they're deployed overseas. Reasonably happy, eh? Just, just that speed. Not too bad. We'll go 45 minutes, eh? If you're ready before that, because you're going to start getting cold, OK? So get your layers off, get some more layers on before you walk, because you've sweated and you're going to get fucking cold from the inside. Happy? Sweet? Happy? You're going to fuck off anywhere for a piss, something to let me know, so I'm not chasing you around. Thanks for that football, that sucks, I'm serious. This is cheese, crackers and jam. <laughs> I can't be bothered cooking, so yeah, making do. Like sometimes I do just want to stop, but then you just kind of think everyone else around you is doing it, and if you've got good support, like your section, then it just kind of drives you to keep going. I just want a fat shower. That's what I want the most. It's a nice hot shower. Yeah. Meanwhile, on the other side of the valley, Narimu Platoon have the pleasure of a hot box lunch to lift their spirits. Potatoes and is this pork? Do you want beans? Beans? Yeah, it's good to have a hot meal and like know that you're getting hot meal. Because when at night time you never know if you're going to have enough time to cook everything. For the recruits being 24 7 out in the open, they've learned fast how to deal without basic home comforts. Yeah. I know it's bad, but let's just hold it to these appropriate time. <laughs> yeah, we had it all day till we got back to the yeah. police. So we couldn't really pop a squat because we were on patrol, so... And you're not allowed to, like... <laughs> See, there's popping a squat and then there's, like, the other one. You're not really allowed to shit in the training area. Yeah. So it's not like you can just go turf up. And we didn't bring our shivies, so... <laughs> and the port <laughs> is like, so far, it's like I'm a cave. Not. Away from our hotel. I've probably got dirt in places I don't even know that there's dirt. <laughs> I was like, oh, I just know, I just know that I'm going to get my period. And then I did on the first day we were in the field, and I was like, <sighs> there's two days left on the open exercise, and with temperatures dropping below zero, sleeping out in the open test recruits, physique and morale. The weather kicked in last night, it was a bit windy. Some are um, obviously still getting the hangs of uh, knowing what kit to wear to bed. Some are jumping in before their kit, come out and they got nothing to get changed into. Had wet socks, had wet pants, had wet everything. It wasn't a very good start, but here I am, morale's high again. This was my mansion. This morning I woke up and I sat up and I felt top of my bivvy bag and it was wet and I was like, oh no. I felt the side and it was like about this much mud I was surrounded in. It's really weird like sort of living underground, eh? It's, but you sort of make it, like make it your own, make it, make it home. There's a good one over there. Funny, he looks quite homely. Uh, come in, um, just laid some of um, the tussock down so it won't get like any water down there and the narrow it is I think the one way it gets when you're sleeping during the night. And just little shelves on the side to put my stuff. This, this is my pit. I have my pack here, and I sleep with my feet in my pack. I mean, it's been really challenging, but this is what we've been training for, and it's the final push, you know? I don't see why anyone would want to quit now. When I'm being a sad sack, I guess, I just think, oh, there's only three more days left, or there's only two more days left of like all of this, and then it's pretty much over because after that it's just drill. So, yeah, the mahi will be done after in a few days anyway. Yeah. Part of the recruits' training is learning how to withdraw if they're attacked while sleeping. This morning, Hinton Platoon have an early morning rehearsal. Get up, get up. Oh, we're quickly getting changed and jumping into our fighting pits. For the withdrawal, basically what we're trying to do is delay the enemy as long as we can before getting out there in a reasonably safe manner. We don't know where they're going to come, don't know what they're going to do, so... Yeah, be a good one. It's all part and parcel of the job, we all love it. Hey boys, 
Yeah, bro. Yeah, we all love this. It's all. It's an honour to be here, actually. Oh, it's no place where I'd rather be, eh? Prepare to withdraw. Covering. Push up. Yeah. Yeah, so I just gotta cover him while he's doing his stuff, and then once he's finished, he'll cover me. I'll do mine. Remember, guys, this is the last five. Just start, chuck stuff on your pack and use the top flap to hold it down. You don't have time to pack it away nicely. I guess looking back on the first exercise that we had, there's a lot of dropping lip. A few of the boys wanted to, they pretty much wanted to leave and asked to leave, but. They stuck around and they seem to be enjoying it now. Here we go. Let's go. Rock roll. Let's go. You know, they, they join up to be soldiers, so now they're actually starting to get into it. They're starting to, some of them are starting to thrive. Meanwhile, over the hill, Narimid platoon are preparing for a simulation of the defensive drill battle. Here they're learning to defend themselves from enemy attack. Got your own little pit where you gotta sit. The only target you're allowed to shoot at with the um, HE rounds is that fucking crate. Okay. When we hear the thunders go off, we're gonna run and we run down to the pit. Get your head down. Everyone gets five mags each. Yes. We've got 15 minutes worth of shooting, so don't use all your mags at once. Stand two! Stand two! Who's a grenadier for your section? I am. All right. One of them. I just like aim for 300. Yeah. And then it wasn't too windy, so. So you're on target, just yeah. a, just a little just bit, a bit further like off. off, like five meters or ten meters off. Okay. Maybe. Well, that's still within so, yeah. the that's still within the blast zone, yeah. so that's still a kill. Yes. Feel a bit more confident now. Yes, sir. Yeah, cool. Cool. Originally from Germany, Melina von Kwiatkowski became a New Zealand resident in 2014. She's known amongst the platoon as a real tough nut. I'm not one of those people who, uh, who said I always wanted to join the army. I thought like it would be like full on, and I would have to, uh, I would struggle to keep up and stuff. So I, I, I worked really hard for the standard I have today. Move, you go, call go, go, go. Safety! VK, as she's been nicknamed, is suffering with a groin injury, but that's not stopped her fighting spirit. But lots of people around here came like, oh, just don't wreck yourself or don't be too hard on yourself. Oh, and if, if you're like in war and you're injured, you have to keep going out as well, so you can't say, oh, now I'm out, I'm, you know. So I just want to keep it all going. If I can take it, I can make it, you know. She's hearty, that girl. Even when she's down on the dumps with her injury, she's still going hard. But to tell her to button off, oh, you don't run, you can't run with us, you need to slow down. And she gives it her all, she's like, ah. She's one of those girls. It's the final day of the field exercises, and the weather has taken a turn for the worse. The recruits now face a grinding pack march to the vehicles that will take them back to barracks and a warm shower. Need the uh, recruits to understand the physical exertion uh, that is required from uh, being on the battlefield. They have the mental fortitude and the willingness and the mindset to be able to carry on to the end. It's a good morning for a pack march. <laughs> I am dying so badly. It's so hard. Everything inside me is screaming for me to stop and just lie down, but I can't. It's freaking sore. It hurts everywhere. Just when you think he's uh, just you're at the top. That. There's another hill. Not fun. What is it? Morning. There it is. It's a great morning. Keep pushing on, team. I think it's like 4K or something. It's just all uphill. For me, it's, it's a great challenge. 
to try to keep up with the guys, like proving myself, oh, yeah, I can keep up with this guy, I can march just as long and just as much as he, he can do. So that's what a, like a soldier should be, like, like never give up and just even when it's really, really tough, when it's raining or when it's windy and cold and everything, like just you stick up and you say, ah, oh, I'm, I'm gonna get through it. As the recruits cross the final hill, the army vehicles are waiting to transport them back. What are you doing? Oh, you guys say something so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I think I want to cry. A few tears in the air still, the recovery. Made a few of them laugh. I think it's just fatigue, the cold, the wet boots. I think it's home time, but it's not home time yet. So we've got another day to go, like the rest of the day to go before we, do, before we can switch off. The recruits still have one exercise left that will take place at the Wairu military camp. It's called Warrior, and it will be their toughest test yet. As they return back to base, they discover sleeping arrangements are just one step up from sleeping in a hole. Do not go through to the other hangar next door. There are three showers in there. They're not to be used. OK, you're staying dirty. Seven days in the field and you come back to base, but you're not in barracks, so you can't actually shower. It um, sucks. If you're caught outside this location without permission, you will be charged. So for me, it's just going to be like really tough for my injury. So yeah, I'm just gonna try to get through it. Better than last night. At least we'll get sleep tonight, I think. All my hands are really cut and dry and like everything I touch just hurts right now. <laughs> now we're just gonna hearty day tomorrow. Pretty much of everything we've learned so far um, will be covered at Warrior. Hot box dinner will be arriving soon. Okay. I would suggest that uh, you don't leave anything behind tonight. Okay, because uh, you're going to burn a lot of energy tomorrow. Wake up, team, let's go! Welcome to Warrior! It's 4.30 a.m. and the moment most recruits have been dreading, a full day of non-stop exercises to physically and mentally test them, called Warrior. My eyes playing off a bit, I think. It got... Uh, probably dirt or something in it in the field, I'm not surprised. I can still see, so it's fine. Well, I think we'll be under the pump the whole day. First up, a 5k race wearing full webbing kit. Here, recruits will be battling to win points collected throughout the day for the prize of top warrior platoon. For the recruit with the most points, they'll win the individual warrior award to be given when they march out. This is an individual effort. I'm not going to tell you how far it is. I'm not going to tell you how long it's going to take. There will be a safety vehicle at the back. So if you do get a serious injury, as in a broken leg, pull off to the side, wait, and the safety vehicle will pick you up. This is like the final challenge. So like it's just everything that we've learned. It's currently snowing. We have to go for a weaving run. Good luck. Stand by. Go. Warriors, oh my gosh, it's going to be a mission and a half. It's exciting to do it with the people you walked in with, you know, have them around you and support you and support them as well. In first place is Elliot Platoon's Rahua Brock. Jump over here. Hey there. First one back, jump inside, give that one to Corporal Toil. She's a pioneer. Also from Elliot, recruit to fight, he slogs it out to take 11th place, with Kiriana not far behind. 20th. <laughs> oh, that's hard. Beating many of the male recruits and first woman over the line is Serena Hay. And the still injured VK manages to finish, adding valuable points for her platoon Nari move. I made it through, so basically when you're like in a, on a battlefield and you get injured, you cannot say to the enemy, oh, hang on for a second, um, I'm injured. You just got to keep fighting. Keep yourself warm, stretch up. Breakfast will be here at 6.30. Yeah, I'm not that, uh, not that miserable. I am going to feed you at least once. With Waiuru's freezing temperature, Warrior is designed to push recruits' mental and physical resilience 
to extreme levels. Yeah, put your wet clothes on. We need to get changed as fast as possible, team. They started off very enthusiastically, however, once they get into that stream, it's always a game changer. In charge of a section from Elliot is recruit Quinn Runger, who is pushing the recruits to get a fast time. But with the recent rains, the stream they have to cross is at full strength and the current strong and unforgiving. <laughs> yeah, one section. Yeah, let's go. Get out of the water now. Warrior also tests endurance, and Narimu's recruits have been told to go on an uphill march carrying 80 kilos of sandbags on a stretcher. Stretcher carries, things like that, all those endurance ones. Keeping your cool is the main one, and um, quick change rounds. Keep the momentum moving, um, and you'll get the task done faster, and then you'll just be more fresh. Pick your rifle up and stand by for the clearance. Recruits also have to go over old lessons, completing tasks that will score their shooting abilities. Then they are put back in the classroom to test their knowledge on everything they have been taught. And they have their old favourite, more running. Back at the stretcher exercise, Naren Mu Patoon has finished in just 32 minutes. Last section so far, which is good to see from uh, Nari Mu, from my platoons. Stoked with that, but I'm not going to let them know that. <laughs> Sweet. Big team effort and stuff, so yeah, we worked really hard together. Meanwhile, at the assault course, both Elliot and Hinton platoons are in fierce competition to finish with the best time. Rahua Brock and Kiriana from Elliot are keeping up the pace in their section. Over the stream, recruit Tuimata is in charge of the section from Hinton. They're making good time, but some are struggling. And they'll have trouble beating Elliot Platoon, who have the best time so far. 28, 0 1. No, the, uh, the, the, the hole is cold as hell. At least we get to change. We get to change. <laughs> it's mid afternoon and the recruits have still not been fed. Now Hinton have 45 minutes to carry a 15 kilo sandbag around the hill called the Seven Sins. Let's go, clock sticking! As the day progresses, the weather worsens. At the assault course, this is the moment recruit Duffy has been dreading. Yes, I didn't want to do it. I was just over it, fatigued, ready to quit. If it was up to me, I would have walked away. <laughs> but, yeah, they got me through it. I am ripping a tie. I just couldn't hold on on the swing. Like, my hands were wet and they were frozen, and I was trying to hold on to it. good enough. And I just couldn't do it. I don't want to. Come on, Come on, That seems impossible for her. Um, that's why she's breaking down. But I mean, we've all been in that situation where, at the time, you think, this is, this is enough for me. I'm done. They're a good section. Thank you. <laughs> As night draws in, and after 15 hours testing their minds and punishing their bodies, the recruits finally hear the words they've been longing for. Exercise warrior is done. Give yourself a pat on the back. Well done. You did well, eh? Real well. All good. Everyone did fucking well, yeah? After the cold and dirt of the last five days, the warm barracks and beds, are just like heaven. Go on, pizza to rock. Coming up next week. Really? Fucking ink is not even dry on the last charge yet. There's no guarantee that he'll march out.
supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.